back right towards that media. I just want to say a massive thank you to our ongoing support on this channel. Uh, we grow ever so slowly, but growth is growth. Um, but we would like to try and get to 650 by the end of the year. Uh, we're only 22 or 20, 21 but behind that mark. So if we can try and push for that, that would be great. Uh, on with the video. Yet another result correct for Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, we left it late in real life uh, against Leicester, but we had the better of the game. We should have we should have won that game. Uh, but a point against the top of the league, can't complain with that at all. Uh, we roll on to the weekend where we have Blackburn at home. Hopefully we can work on what we did midweek and get a result because Huddersfield picked up points as well. So despite picking up a point against Leicester, we're now 12 points away from safety. We've got the difference as well. So possibly 13 points behind. Um, which is a task in itself. But we have the Christmas period coming up where games come thick and fast. And I believe by the time at the end of the season, we will be safe. Mad, I know, but I'm sure all of us Wednesday fans will think the same thing. We are playing much better under Danny Roll. Um, a lot more attacking, better, better plays. We're having, we're having shots. But we are scoring goals, so it's all positive. Players come back fifth as well. Um, really good to see. So, to quickly check the table. So, we have a look now. Again, we haven't really moved anywhere, but other teams around us have picked up points. So, we're still way better off than in real life. But EAFC predicts that we, we should be around the mid table mark. And hopefully, with our game against Blackburn, we can go up the table on the EFC and in real life. Have so let's go ahead and watch that Blackburn game and hopefully we can yeah. get safe. Hopefully you're staying dry at home. I'm Guy Mowbray and alongside me for commentary is Sue Smith. And we've got live championship football coming up. Sue, what can we expect from the game then? Cheers, Guy. I think it's so important that both teams start on the front foot, take the game to the opposition and an early goal would certainly settle any nerves. With that, the first half is underway. Here's how Blackburn Rovers line up. Yeah, it's a 5-3-2 or a 3-5-2 if you like. The midfield will be flooded when they've got the ball, but then the wing-back should drop off when out of possession. It's just whether they can get up the pitch consistently enough to help provide the width to their attacks. Players waiting in the centre. Has to be. That's good physical play. A nice cutback. And the defence has done its job to stop any trouble brewing. Using his body well to keep the ball. They won't take it from him there. Pushing forward with options available now. And the promise of something happening is over. build-up, but not quite the end product.
work pays off as they get the ball back. Moving forward well. Body in the way, good work. Well, he's lost the ball, and any chance has gone. Nice possession. And for all the keeping of the ball, they've gone nowhere. And the referee's whistle brings the first 45 minutes to a close. So the second half kicks off. Still all square, can they make this pressure count? But unable to find the killer pass in the end. And that's a throw in, they'll have to win the ball all over again. Untidy in possession there. Please remove the car as soon as possible. Thank you. This is a positive looking move. Able to skip past his man. And he's being urged to shoot. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. Good patient build-up. And not getting close enough here. And the hard work pays off, they won the ball. Lovely weighted pass. Very, very close. But he'll be furious with himself for missing it. Number 11, Josh Lindas. Coming onto the pitch. Number 
22, Jeff Hendrick. They've given it away here. Good job done to keep it there. If they score from this, they'll surely win the game. But it will now be tidied up and cleared away. Not a lot of time for him. Could be something on. That's good, strong play. Some good work to win it there. It's all over as the ref blows for full time. So there we have it. Another disappointing nil-nil. There's a point on the board. Let's hope we can pick something up at the weekend in real life. But we'll come back at the weekend and we'll go through the league table after everyone else has played and see where EAFC would have placed us uh, currently 10th, so hopefully onwards and upwards. See you later.